guys, so today I'm going to go over squat technique. So last week I went over the press up technique, so this week I just wanted to go over squat technique for you. So squatting, we're going to take, I'm going to go from the side so that you can see to start with, but your feet are hip width apart, core's nice and tight, and you're just going to tuck the tailbone under. We don't want to be sticking the bum back too much, so just tuck it under so that our core is engaged. From there, we sit down into the bottom. You can take your arms forward if you want, or you can hold the weights down by the side. And then we lift and squeeze the bum at the top. So just keeping that posture nice and tall, core tight. So what we're looking for is that the bottom goes back. Your body doesn't drop forward. We keep the chest lifted. The arch in the back doesn't arch excessively. I've got a slight arch in my back naturally, but I don't want an excessive arch. And we keep the posture nice and tall. We're also watching that the knees don't go over the toes. Lots of people, they squat forward because they're not confident that their bum will bring them up. So leaning forward there, but we want to go back into the bum, okay? We're also watching that when we squat, our knees don't cave in like that, or that they don't excessively turn out so that our, hi Ted, so that our feet start to arch as well. So we just wanna keep the feet planted and sit down into that bum. Now, if you are unsure about sitting back because you're a little bit unstable and you feel that you can't, you can raise your heels. So at, at home, I have one of these, but you can use anything that's slightly raised as well. So you could use one of those under each feet and that just allows you to sit back a little bit more and supports you if you find that you're starting to go forward and you don't trust yourself. There is also other options and why we use this is to do with my corrective ex exercise qualification. So there are lots we can go over. So if you do find that you're one of those people and you want some help with your squat technique, do give me a shout. The other thing that we can do, which is what I do with a lot of my clients, is get a bench. So if you have a bench or a sofa or anything handy, what you can do is just teach yourself because the worst thing that you're thinking about is when you squat back is that you're gonna fall. So if you've got something there to catch a fall, then you'll feel safer and you'll get that technique a little bit better. So you're gonna sit down and try and touch it and then you can come back up. Posture nice and tall, down and back up. Worst case scenario guys, you're gonna go down and your bum's gonna go no, and guess what, you sat down. <laughs> it's not a bad thing, is it? So posture tall, sit the bum back, and then you can come back up. And that's just gonna to start to train your glutes. Now the glutes are a weak part in the body for most people. So in order to start building your glute strength, squats are a great exercise, but there are other exercises that will be more beneficial for your glute strength. And again, that's something you can contact me about to do with my corrective exercise qualification. And we can go from there and build up the strength in your bottom. Have a lovely day.